Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Naomi and today I have something really fun and really powerful for you today. So today we're going to be jumping. Now if you practice yoga almost exclusively, you might not do this often in your practice, right? I mean you might sometimes jump forward from downward facing dog into a forward bend. You might jump back into chaturanga and that's all fine. But when was the last time that you just jumped straight up and down like you were on a pogo stick? Okay, when was the last time that you tried to jump as far as you could? Well, if you haven't in a long time, that is exactly what we're doing today, and it's a really, really important action. So this is a way back into that practice if it's been a while or if it's something that you don't do often. Are you ready to jump for your love, <laughs> for your bones? That's what you're jumping for. So if you're ready, Let's go and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so here we go. Now you might have noticed that I've cleared my mat out of the way and I've put my shoes on. I'm gonna show you pogos really quickly then we're gonna go right into it. Now, your pogos are not a swing like we just did with the bolster, but straight up and down jump, pretty much a stiff leg jump, jump where you're absorbing the action through your ankles and your feet, right? And the idea is to smack the ground with your whole foot. You're not rolling through the ball of your foot to your heel like this, right? It's a smack of your whole foot to the ground. And you're trying to lift up off of the ground as quickly as you can once you land, right? So this is for speed. It's like you're on a pogo stick. Okay, so imagine you're a human pogo stick. You're gonna do 10 seconds on, 50 seconds off. So this is about four minutes long, okay? Let's get right into it. So I'm gonna start the timer and we'll start our pogos now. And that's it. Okay, that was 10 seconds. Now you get 50 seconds of rest. Now the reminder with this is that you're not swinging your arms. Your arms can be alongside your body or at your hips. Okay, if you need more of a break, if these jumps feel really intense, they're fairly low intensity jumps, but you're smacking your whole foot to the ground, so it might feel like a lot. You might feel leakage, right? If you are not jumping regularly, um, if your pelvic floor <laughs> is not used to this, but this is actually fantastic work for your pelvic floor so that your pelvic floor can respond and adapt. Okay, so you're teaching your pelvic floor how to handle jumping. In the beginning, it might not feel like that, but that's what you're after. Okay, so you've got 10 seconds before our next round begins. So you can have your hands at your hips or alongside your body, totally up to you, but we'll get started now. And that's it. And for what it's worth, like I leak sometimes too. Because I haven't done these in a while, right? Part of the reason that I'm doing these is A, jumping like this is fantastic for building bone strength and bone density, okay? So jumping, super good for that. Okay, that's number one. But number two, also really great for your pelvic floor, really good for your whole body, okay? But I haven't done these for a long time. I run and I don't typically leak when I run. But when I do these, I do because I don't practice this much. So this is as good for me as it is for you. Okay, and we're moving on. We've got about 10 seconds before our third round. Okay, if you're good after two rounds, rest right now. If you're ready to go, you can have your hands at your hips or your arms down. And let's do this. Go ahead and start. And that's it. Okay, the reminder is as you rest for about 45 seconds, the reminder is this is a stiff leg jump. You are jumping from your feet, okay? <laughs> You're not trying to <laughs> try to absorb through your whole body, just through your ankles and feet and your Achilles, okay? <sighs> and if it feels like a lot, that's okay, it kind of is. All right, but you've got about 18 seconds before our last round, okay? And if you're already done, if you feel like you've done enough, rest. Three rounds might be enough, particularly if you're new at this. But if you're ready, bring your hands to your hips or let them rest for our last round of jumping. Here we go, start.
and that's it. Done. Whew. Okay. Now, our next jumps are really similar to a pogo, but instead of going up and down, you're going across. Okay. So the idea, okay, and these are every 30 seconds. Okay. So you're just going to jump 10 straight across. Okay. So it's going to go like this. Or however many you can do across. I just did seven. We'll see if I, and you could do these in place too or make them smaller jumps. I was trying to go the distance. But you're really just aiming for 10 and then rest, 10 and then rest. Okay. So I'm going to stop the timer right now. I'm going to show you again. So you can just start again from this side of your mat. But the idea is it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, turn around, wait for your 30 seconds to be up, and go across again. So, this is another quick one. Okay, this one's just two minutes. Okay, so you're traveling. Okay, what's cool about this one is that you're creating movement, you're trying to cover distance. Okay, so <sighs> full breath in, full breath out. You're still aiming for the whole round and to spring up off of it as quickly as possible. Okay, so once you make contact, you rebound right back up, right? So you're not trying to recoil and go up. We'll get to that. You're actually trying to pop up and down, pop up and down, pop up and down, but go the distance, okay? So <clears throat> let's do this. Get ready. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Okay, and then you can rest. I know, it's not a lot, right? So you've got about 20 seconds to rest here. Again, you're just doing 10 jumps, going all the way across to the other side. That might be on the diagonal. If you don't have enough space, you could certainly do this in a tighter space, going back and forth. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like now. And go ahead and start. And then I turn around. Okay, so if you have a tighter space, you could go five across, five back. Okay, but we're going to start our third round Ooh, in about 10 seconds. Okay, so get yourself ready. Again, you might be going five and five or all the way 10. Three, two, one, go. Okay, and you get to rest for 25 seconds. Cool. If you're doing it in time with me, <laughs> you might have just finished, in which case you have 15 seconds. <laughs> All right. But we've got one more, and I'll do five and five this time too, just in case you need to see that. But this is the last one. Whew. Here we go. And you can start. All right, and that's it. That's it. I know, not too bad, right? So the last thing that we're gonna do are broad jumps. Now, I'm gonna do them from the back corner here toward the front corner here, but a broad jump, the idea of a broad jump, and this is where you get that swing in, okay? You're gonna do <laughs> three of them and then rest, okay? But the idea here is it's a big swing, jump, you can turn around, Big swing, jump, big swing, jump, okay? And then rest. And then you get like about, that for me is about 15 seconds. And this is gonna be another, right, where you have every, on every 30 seconds you're gonna do this, okay? Although you know what, I think I'm gonna change that. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little bit more rest for that. Okay, so you're gonna get 30 seconds rest. So it's more like every minute on the minute you're going to do a broad jump for four minutes, okay? So we're going to get started in about 20 seconds. So I would say four jumps back and forth. I'm going to modify that, okay? So you're going to do a big broad jump. I'm going to pause this for just a sec to clarify because I realized that it wasn't particularly clear. What you're aiming for is distance, okay? Now, if that feels like too much, you can always bring back, okay, our friend the block and just... Hop over the block, okay? 
So you can always just do a little hop, turn, hop, turn, and do that four times. So that's another really good option, okay? But we're gonna get started, do our broad jumps, four minutes, here we go, okay? So you're gonna start in about 10 seconds. If you're using the block, make sure the block is in front of you and you're not going quite as far, otherwise you're aiming to go as far as you can, okay? So, let's do it. Big jump, okay? And you're landing, big jump, in that squat position, right? Big jump, boom, okay? And then one more, big jump. And then you get to rest, okay? And we're gonna rest for the remainder of the minute. And we're just gonna do two more cycles. So we're gonna do three full rounds, that is it, but you get to rest, <laughs> okay? So 30 more seconds of rest. <sighs> I know, but it's really important because this is a bigger jump. And again, you're trying to land on your whole foot, right? So instead of rolling down, you're trying to land solidly, okay? And that swing that we did earlier, that is going to help propel you. So your upper body is engaged too. Okay, second minute starts almost. Here we go. Now, okay, so you can get your swing on. Boom. Okay, get your swing on. Boom. So I'm trying to jump to my plant from one corner to the other. Swing on. Boom. One more. Swing. Boom. Okay. Now what can be really helpful here is you could actually, while we're waiting, is you could say to yourself, if you like these long jumps but you don't really know how far to jump, you could set that block out in front of you and say, I wanna jump as far as I can past the block. So you could place it at a moderate distance instead and say, can I jump past that block? And that might be a really great way to say to yourself, this is how I'm testing my distance, okay? For me, it's how far can I jump? You could place that block there and say, how far past the block can I jump? And that can be a good target. But this is our last round. Let's go, four jumps. Big swing, jump. Big swing, jump. Big swing, jump. <laughs> Big swing, jump. And now, my friends, is it, actually. So. You can just take a few full breaths in and out. If you enjoy, thank you so much for taking a leap, an actual leap, and joining me for this jumping practice. Now, what you saw today was part of a practice that I filmed for my online studio, Move With Naomi, because in June of 2023, we are focusing on the action of jumping in all of the classes that I'm teaching, whether they're pre-recorded or live. And the reason that we're doing that is that impact training, also known in some circumstances as jumping, is so important for the health of your bones. And it's something that quite honestly, we don't do often enough, particularly if you practice yoga almost exclusively. So I hope that you enjoyed this sort of introduction into using a few different jumps to build and scale your jumping practice, but also to reintroduce your body to a level of impact that it might not have seen for a long time. Now, what you didn't see was the warm up for this practice that I did cut out so that you could just get to the jumping today. So if you want that warm up and you want a more full focus on jumping for at least a month and honestly, whenever you want, then I highly recommend joining my online studio, Move With Naomi. You can check out the link in the description below and you can join for two months, 50% off, which basically means you're getting one month free. That's pretty sweet, right? So we will be focusing on jumps all month long in June. So whenever you join, whether you join now, right before June 2023, which is when I'm filming this, or whether you join later, you will have access to all of these videos for as long as you were in the studio. So whether I see you back here on the mat on YouTube or whether I see you in my studio, I am so grateful that you're here. Thank you so much for jumping with me and I will see you back again soon. Until then, bye.